Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to my channel, Eat Healthy, Get Rich, Drink Good Beer. If you don't know me, my name is Taranjit Singh Rai and I'm not a financial advisor. These videos are totally for entertainment purposes only. Today, I have a very special video for you. Today, I'm going to teach you how you can participate in projects early. As a seed investor, as a private round investor, usually these kind of investments are forte of big institutions, angel investors. We don't really get opportunity to invest in companies like Apple and Google early before they even launch. However, cryptocurrency is changing all of this view. People are forming guilds to play video games. YGG token is an example of that. If you don't have money to purchase the NFTs, you can go to these guilds. You can have the account there. Somebody will lend you their NFT and then you can play all the revenue earned. You can share amongst each other. This combining of people wisdom, this combining of people power, this combining of people wealth is creating new investment vehicles which people like me and you people who don't really have that much money can utilize to actually get a small slice of pie early however before we go there let's just have a quick look at the market obviously the market is not looking good <laughs> when I look at my portfolio I just want to drink beer okay beer of the day is the crafty brewing co American style IPA absolutely refreshing if you're in the UK you can get this in Lidl cheers I'm just gonna give you quick TLDR on why is this happening so the number one reason is the fed because they're going to increase the interest rates in the near future institutions are addicted to easy money and once the easy money dries they're going to sell off their assets to pay off their loans number two there is this fud about russia banning cryptocurrency mining china tried it nothing happened but there is something else that russia is doing it is amassing troops at the border of ukraine world doesn't need wars this is the market guys bitcoin can still crash down to 22 to 23k however hopefully there are few things that i think are working massively in our favor number one is adoption walmart is getting into nfts if they're getting into nfts they need ethereum they need the cryptocurrencies they need the blockchains amazon is looking into getting into nfts amazon will need cryptocurrencies facebook has rebranded to meta most of the nfts at the moment at least the blue chip ones are living on ethereum so they will need to buy ethereum the balance of ethereum and bitcoin on exchanges it's still at all-time lows i am pretty sure we will bounce back towards an upward trend no one who has bought bitcoin and held for three to four years has ever lost money can you say that about any other asset class i think bitcoin is the best performing asset class ever in the history of the planet so i am not worried i have exhausted all my stable coins the stuff i bought was moonbeam moonbeam recently won the parachain auctions on polkadot polkadot uh, blockchain will be a mothership mother blockchain that will carry all these parachains with it and i'm doing extensive research under the moonbeam platform and one of the first decentralized exchange to launch on the moonbeam is beanswap look where pancake swap is look where uniswap is if moonbeam can bring similar amount of total value lock which i'm going to show you in a second huge potential here not financial advice of course the stablecoin usdc bus d is 35 percent 22 million has been already locked here i think this is sitting at a dumpster level not financial advice of course i managed to get into this project at 0.01 .01, so i participated in seed i also participated in the private round and the way i did it was by joining one of these groups which was mentioned to me by a friend of the channel george from southampton so thank you george i hung around their discord for three months once i was absolutely confident i started investing in some of the projects and now i have started to see returns obviously every investment is risky everything can go down to zero not only bringing this uh, discord group to you but also the founder who is running this uh, project is crypto playboy so let's hear from him how are you ah very good man let's get started tell us about you what is your name and how did you come up with the idea of kpc okay um so back in 2017 um, my name's simple credits by the way but everyone calls me crypto playboy um, that's what i go by now but back in 2017 simple as i was on a trip with my mates my dad called me and he's like hey what's this bitcoin stuff that's going on out there and i'm like i don't know i've heard about it before my mates were like oh you can buy stuff online with that and then he goes my dad's like do you want to buy some i'm like okay so i came back from my trip we found out how to get it uh, we got on coinspot we started learning about the blockchain and what's bitcoin what's ethereum 
And then what really got us going was um, we purchased Antshare and that's now known as Neo. And we bought that, it done like a 40, 50 X and we're like, whoa, we're blown away by it. So after that interest just went straight into it and every day I was just, what's this thing mean? What's that mean? And we started doing IDOs and pre-sales then. And that's when it was like the wild, wild west of pre-sales. They had like projects coming out, they had hundred percent on TGE and it was just go, 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 go. And from doing that, I think we've done about 60 or 70 in that year. And those ones just went nuts. Like yeah, projects where you put in thousand dollars, next thing you know, three months later, it's 300,000, but then the next day it's down to 20,000. Like it was crazy, but it was really a lot of fun and big learning curve. That's that's great to know. I I, I was also one of the I don't know, lucky or unlucky ones who started in 2017, panic sold <laughs> after the crash, <laughs> but it's okay. We all learn. And I think one of the best performing asset class on the planet is actually Bitcoin. If you do the data from last 10 years, there is no other asset class that will beat Bitcoin. However, I know the money is elsewhere. Money is in the seed. And that's why we have you here on this channel. So a one minute pitch. You have literally 60 seconds, uh, Simo. So give me a pitch about KPC and what is your track record? Why should we invest in you? All right, so I might take it longer than 60 seconds, but I've been doing this for about four or five years pre-sales. And um, then last year I got the opportunity because we had COVID shutting down. I've done crypto full time. Um, so our business got shut down. That's all I had to do is work, work, work on this. And I made a lot of contacts over the years. And from then I said, hey, I want to branch out and do this bigger and better. And I'm um, just invest a lot of money into it. And at the same time, my friends like, can we do it with you? I'm like, yeah, no worries, join up. And then we had a bigger and bigger community growing. And that's where Crypto Playboy Group came from, Crypto Playboy Capital. And with that, I think over five years, we've done over about 480 projects like me personally. Um, and in that, I'd say out of that, out of every 10 you do, you got a highly good chance of five doing like between you know, five to 10 X and staying around that price, like long-term. Um, two might do like a one to two X. You get one project that goes bad and there's always one bad up on the group because you cannot tell what's gonna happen in the market or the project's gonna go ahead with it. And then you get that one project which is like 100 X plus and that's the one that pays off everything you have going on there. And that gets your bug going. Once you get that one, there's no stopping it. And that's what we try to bring to the group. And when the market starts moving, you'll see these come along and Xerox Adventure is gonna be the other one. <laughs> uh, hang on to that for later in the interview, uh, Simo. <laughs> we'll come to that. Tell us about your YouTube channel. I actually hooked up to the videos you make. Uh, one of the good friends of mine, John, George from Southampton actually introduced me to your group. So thanks, George. Uh, big shout out to you. Tell us about your YouTube channel. So same thing that started in like uh, last year as well during COVID because I had friends going, how do you make this? How do you do this? What's up with this? Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, nah, I can't repeat it a hundred times. So everyone, I'll make a video. I just shared them a link. And then I had some randoms messaging and say, I really like your videos. You made it simple. You maybe understand what a pre-sale is and a launch pad. So I kept doing them and grew the community. And from there, it's just grown and grown and grown. It's like 8,000 people now, which I'm shocked. I was like, oh, wow, 500 people are blown away. It's nice as people want to get involved and learn and when you get messages from saying you really changed my life you've done this for me it feels nice because it's actually helping and you you know in the end you're growing together yeah absolutely and again uh my channel was also a product of covid we had a lockdown and i what, what should i do and I, I i helped so many people i said you know what i'll just start this channel and it went nuts honestly and same here so many messages from people saying that i've changed their life it, it is really good to know and i've not monetized my channel by the way guys this is not a sponsored video i'm doing this from my own volition however there is a treat for all the viewers here there's a link in the description there will be all links for the kpc a discord for kpc website for a free three month introduction to the diamond group so please follow that link i'm not getting any money so i'm again and again saying this this is all due to my own volition how different is kpc a venture capitalist firm from other seed investors so what makes you different well i think one um personality is a big thing like i actually am a real person you talk to some of these other guys they got a personality. They're not really there for people. Like you're in their discords or in their telegrams and you're like, can I message you? And they're like, no, do not DM me. Do not send me nothing. And my one's like, I don't care if you tell me about your love life or what happened today. Like I'm happy to talk to people. Like everyone's human. You're meant to help each other. And some people message me. I've learned things from them. I've got ideas from them. And that's sort of like it's a community we're making there. So I think when you have a strong community like that, you can grow quicker and bigger and people have more trust in you then because they see you're a real person. Like we've got TikTok on making funny videos for people. We've got the YouTube with education and we've got a whole following here like from last year having five or six people working with me uh, now i've got 20 guys working in kpc with us so it's grown quite quick and i think people said that trust and honesty is there and we're here for the long term as our plan especially the partnerships we have coming up and i would uh, attest to that guys uh the prequel is about beam swap so um i can attest that i hang around in the discord i, I stayed for two three months before i made my first investment i have now invested in five and my plan is to always keep investing but you have to do your own research all investments are risky assume that 
that everything can go down to zero. If 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 you want to blame anyone for any bad investment, it should be you, not anyone else. This is my theory. Anyways, oh. <laughs> what is your biggest threat? What would be the biggest threat to get this? Probably if I got hit by a bus. Other than that, like I'm 24 seven in this and we've got a really good group together now. So everyone's got a responsibility and roles. And with that, it's really eased up for me to be able to make more contacts, you know, make more deals with other VCs and other projects coming out. And that's what I love about it. It's just a massive growth industry and there's no stopping what we have. And I think the biggest setback is is myself. If I don't push myself and set goals and what I want to do, what I want for KPC and the community, well, then that's what's going to hold it back. But fuck. I got big goals, I got big plans for it, and I got good guys really pushing behind me, and there's no stopping us now. That brings me actually nicely to the next question. One thing, when I was doing executive education in Babson College in Boston, there were two B words we always used to be taught. The first one was divorce, and the second one was death. You being hit by bus. What are the safeguards for the community that if something happens to you, I oh, no, really wish you all very, very well. However, in that scenario, what are the steps you are doing to ensure that everyone is protected? There's six other people that know as much as I do. They have all my passwords, they have all the details for it. Basically, if I drop dead tomorrow, they take over. Um, obviously, they're not as good looking or as charming, so they probably won't do as good of a job, but they'll get it done for people and, you know, Everyone's going to be safe there. They'll probably miss me for a little while and then they'll move on to the next project and be happy. That is really good to know, Simo. Related to that, are you planning to expand the team? Well, we did expand it this, like end of last year, this year. And um, we are looking to get, you know, international, get someone else like so they can do different channels in there, uh, help promote it in other areas. So we're always looking to grow and grow and grow. But um, this year, we're quite happy how it's happened. And you never know what the future holds with it. Hopefully bigger and better things. So is KPC a legal entity in Australia? Is that correct? Oh, fantastic. Yeah, I can see on website there are so many projects you guys have incubated and that includes Soul Chicks, which was I think probably the project that generated most money out of all recent launches. Like it was crazy. They were on every launch pad. I'm amazed uh, by the amount of projects you have done in a short space. So related to that, how much have you actually raised? Since the like launch of KPG Group, uh, we've raised over about three and a half million. And um, like that includes like our funds we're putting into purchasing as well in the group, because whatever we invest in, the group's investing with us. If I bring a project, my money's in it too. So if the project's not there, means I'm not investing in it. If it's in the group, my money's in it with you. That's really, really exciting news. And I know it's early days for the for the group, or for you, it's been a very, very long time already. So you know, you know what you're doing. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I think you have part answered my next question, but what is the most exciting news? Oh, do you mean about my life or for KPC? <laughs> Both. This is not a this is a friendly interview. It's not a paid interview, so you can talk whatever. <laughs> well, life-wise, I survived a brand snake attack today, so I'm quite happy with that. KPC-wise, like honestly, I'm really happy with the community we've grown and the people we have working with us now like they're so driven they've they're making it easier for us and better for kpc to expand um we got guys that are just out there searching for projects they do, do, do uh, sorry due diligence on it to struggle with that word then we also have guys that are helping us with the marketing aspect so we're making sure our youtube channels the videos are up there you know doing the tiktoks instagram and twitter so we're just really trying to cover all avenues so everyone understands we're out there and we mean business and we want to grow kpc to be one of the biggest vcs around and we're aiming for that t1 aspect so again guys if you want to join the discord the link is down there it's five pounds a month but there is a three month free link there for you again i'm not being paid to make this video i'm again again saying this you go there hang around only invest if you feel like okay once the investment is received project is launched are the tokens distributed manually or some kind of automatic function yeah, so it comes through a smart contract so when the project send us the uh, tokens it's the contract and it sends it out we have a new project coming up it's actually our own launch pad ourselves so what's going to be on there is our members get a login they sign in um, basically they send their funds on MetaMask and when it's claim time, they go to the portal and they click claim themselves. So it'll be a self-claim portal making it easier and you don't have to rely on the smart contract doing it you know, individually to your wallet. You want it, go get it, it's on there and you know, guys can have a quicker time with it. Sometimes when we do the bulk send outs, um, the smart contract can be delayed on it or it can get rejected a few times. That's happened in the past. It's a bit frustrating, I think, because some of the networks have such a big load on it. Like when we had the Solchik send out, so we on a crash like 20 yeah. times on us that day. We ended up having to... <laughs> yeah, I, I, I remember that. I remember that, Zivo. It was, uh, you know, it's the slightest, fastest blockchain and can't even handle one project launch. So that was quite interesting. Long night. Could you tell us about Ox Adventures? Zero X Adventures. Well, um, this is a project we've been working on. Um, a couple of mates of mine, one's Kelvin. Like, this guy's a genius. 
He's worked on other projects before. He's also has another one he's been incubated by Binance called Sky Art Network, um, Sky Art Chronicles. And those guys basically are going to be making games, incubating them, bringing them to life. And then they're going to be launching them over on Xerox Adventure on the launch pad in there. Uh, and also Jeremy. So this guy's like a genius coder. He's been working on some really unique features for us. So one of them is a Xerox avatar wallet. And also it's our scholar management system, which guilds are now investing in saying, we want your system. And you're just really managing them, giving them data so they can see who's the best in-game players, who's earning the most, who's doing the worst, who's not active. So the guilds can easily get that information and have to build a system themselves. And we do all that for them. So we've got some real big plans coming up for that. And we're waiting for this market to turn to launch it. So we're going to do it in January, but we said, nope, we'll hold back. There's no rush for this. We've got a good product. We've got a good team behind us. We've got some crazy investors as well. And uh, we'll be releasing the information very shortly. Who's invested in the project? And, uh, big, big things for it. Okay. And if you want some more private information, of course, you can come to my Discord and see. I'm not going to tell publicly. What can you tell us publicly at the moment about Zero X Adventures? Publicly, uh, I think if you don't purchase Zero X Adventures, you're going to be really sad because you're going to be like, oh, I had the opportunity to do it with them. And you kick yourself later on when all your mates are driving Lambos because they bought Zero X Adventure and you're sitting there and you're sort of the wheel still. Okay, I'm not yeah. going to push you <laughs> any further. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you mentioned something about delaying the launch. And obviously the market is dictating many, many other projects to delay as well. What if in an unlikely scenario, this is a bear market and it extends longer than what everyone is thinking? How do you future-proof yourself? What is your plan if actually it is indeed we are in a bear market. Mm -hmm. um, so future proof wise, like the systems, it's mainly the software for the, the guilds. So if we can launch, we can launch in a bear market. It's just not ideal. We'd rather launch in the best market possible because that's what everyone wants because you get the best gains. Um, but if it does come down, push the shove and you see these bear markets around to stay, well, we're going to have to launch it because we want to get the system out there. And we're not fussed. We know it's not going to be a flop. We know this project's going to go hard because when you see the names that are on it, the people aren't stupid, like the, you know, it's a multi-billion dollar investors and they know what's a good project when they see it. Yeah, I think one of the ways other projects can decouple from Bitcoin is actually via these games. What Axie has done is crazy. And there are some games which are actually defying the market. What you're proposing is Guild of Guilds. Is that yeah. correct? It's the Guild of Guilds. Right. Now we actually take on a slightly different role. We're going to be the Guild of Guilds, but it's going to be like their data management because which I can't say yet because it can't be public, but you'll see when it comes out what we're talking about. It's going to be big, big things. So we're excited, Fantastic. very excited. Fantastic. So we are at the tail end of our interview, Simo, so you can relax now. <laughs> How do you relax, actually? So tell us, let's let's switch gears. I don't know. I probably have to say I like to work out. I go to the gym. That gives me like an hour to, to myself, you know, rest and relax in there. The gym is your little slice of heaven. Uh, probably pat my dogs for a little bit. They get 10, 15, 20 minutes of fun, take them for a swim and then back into work. Cause I don't know, since I was a kid, I've loved working. Uh, I like to see what you can do for yourself and make things grow. And cause I work with my family very closely. We're a good community, work together. And it's nice to see that grow together. Cause I know it makes them happy, makes myself happy. And personal growth is a massive thing. Uh, I think when you set a goal, you hit it. You set next goal, you hit it. You get like a, a rush for it. You want more goals when you hit them. And then now that we have a community behind us, like you feel like you've got to help these people because some of them are my friends in there. Some of these guys I've just met, I've made friendships with and you feel like, let's do this guys. I can get off my ass, I want to do sleep all day and get out there and make something of myself. That is fantastic. So last question, what is your dream holiday? Dream holiday? Oh, I don't know, probably love a lot of guns, buggies and dirt bikes. <laughs> Few ladies dancing as well. <laughs> Very good. I hope my wife doesn't see this interview. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fantastic, Sibo. So that that brings the conclusion to our interview. Any final remarks you want to say to my followers? Obviously, your followers are also going to see this uh, video. So, uh, any final remarks before we go? I'd just like to say, anyone that's in the community or joining the community. Some people will be worried about putting five bucks into something. Like me, myself, if I was an incident and said, well, $5 to join this, I'd be a bit skeptical. But that's why when you guys come in, join the community, try it out, and you'll see what we're all about in there. When you do start paying $5, 
that goes to our community pool. Like I don't want you five bucks. It's not going to change my life. It just keeps out the people that are in there just to waste your time, ask stupid questions and piss off everyone else in the community. We put it aside in a group pool and we're just going to be doing group prizes, giveaways. We already started doing some this year and we're going to just keep that going because you're part of our community. You deserve to get something back. And that's what I want to do is make the best community possible in crypto through KPC, KPG and Crypto Playboy's channel. Fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much for your time, Simo. And Thank I'll you. see you soon. Bye. No worries, Dad. If you like the content, hit the subscribe button. As you know, I make shorter videos. YouTube algorithm them doesn't like me so it really helps the channel spread the word like share subscribe and i'll see you in the next video